Hello and welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. This one's all about my Timu boys. So we're going to go through and have a look at what I've got so far. There is one more building coming, but that is going to be a video of its own because it is a mammoth of a build. All right, so a quick run through first. We've got road plates. We've got coffee shop. A tripod phone holder for my streaming. Another one, which also is a big selfie stick. Some uh, 16 by 16 base plate. And a microphone for when I'm doing some distant recording. So I can set them up on here and be across the room. And hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. Right, so I'm going to start off with the vlogging stuff. And then I can see if I can put it into action. And how the recording works. So the first thing I've got is this handheld it's also a tripod which very difficultly one hand it swings out and sits like that move that out of the way so that's all good then we've also got this bit which attaches onto there and it also can attach onto my big tripod so i'm going to hook this up now and then see how we get on i'm going to hook the microphone up and then i'm going to have a little play with the selfie stick too so with any luck you'll be able to hear me all the way over here excuse the fact that you're going to get to see more of christopher fish now i am at the other end of the lego city and the tripod is now holding the phone so so far it seems steady you've got some adjustment and it seems to be holding really well I quite like that. Right, so here we have the selfie stick tripod. At the bottom, opens up, we have the tripod effect. And it also has the selfie stick effect. We've got an adjuster here with a fastener, so we can tighten it up once we've got the perfect position. So that is quite impressive. And then we've got these little flaps in here, if I can get them out one and two so they are what's going to hold my phone in place i quite like that and there's also a button at the bottom so i'm going to have to test that out to see if it works because there is no wires so i'm going to put it as a selfie stick and then we're going to transfer over to this and then see if it still works oh okay that's cool so i've got the selfie stick going i'm not it's a bit wobbly but I can still get that going a hell of a lot better. This button actually slides off and it's what actually stops and starts like this. And we're back. So this button actually works to stop and start. So that's really good. And then it just slots inside the, set, uh, the handle of the stick as well. So I, can, I don't even have to hold it. I can do it down here. So now I can hold you all the way up there and give you what's as good as a full pan view of the lego city this is awesome and look i can even get higher up here so you can see better so i'm going to turn the screen and then show you the minifigures and the robots so you go effortless i can hold it up i can show you all my mech bots and i can show you all the minifigures that i've got up on display as well and then i've got some in the cases and i don't have to do no stretching either so when we come over to here on this top shelf, you can actually see all the Lego sets I've got stashed away and hidden because I've got nowhere to put them. This is brill. All right, so all in all for these three little guys, absolutely buzzing. Nice, cheap little purchases. So they are going to be getting some use made out of, especially if I end up using this guy matched with these because i can do like time lapses and stuff like that which i haven't been able to do before so with these all done and out the way i'm now gonna have a look at my four road plates and see how different they are then we can get on to the coffee shop okay so we're gonna have a look at the road plates just by looking at them next to each other, you can already tell that they are a different contrast. It's going to be a pain in the backside, but at the same time, it's one of those risks that you take, whether you buy something separately 
or you know like in time or whether you buy it from different um sellers you don't remember where you bought this one or that one from so it, it's gonna be a bit of a mix and match i might have to get some more of the same just so that they do all match but in the meantime I suppose it spruces it up and gives it a bit of contract uh, context so if i mix them up like this so i've done a video before on my mill system for my roads so you can see how easy it is just to replace the roads but now okay they're slightly different colored or shades but you can see goes all the way down so the road is probably going to annoy me but again it makes it a bit unique so i'd need one two three four five six seven eight new road plates from the same seller to accommodate the change from one two three four road plates that i've already ordered so that should be fun but again now i know where i've bought them from that shouldn't be a problem then the old ones i can always use for somewhere else or something else or i could just sell them on to somebody else okay so the change of plan instead of being unique and having different shades all the way around i have swapped 12 of my lighter gray shall we call it um road plates which are there they i've sold to my friend for 20 quid and I've ordered 10 of the ones that I need in this shade from the same seller. So at least they will all match then, just the way I like it. And now for the next build to finish this video, we've got the coffee shop. Starbucks coffee shop? Yes, mate. Let's get it going. Okay, so with the road plates out the way, it's time to start on the coffee shop. bags are numbered that's always a very good start and the manual let's have a look clear instructions again another bonus where's the stickers found them they were on the computer because they were the last thing to come out of the box so because of copyright you can't actually call it starbucks but next best thing so let's get building and see how this one goes
Okay, so bag one in and I'm already start. Okay, so bag one in, I'm already starting to see why this set was so cheap. It's a very small miniature build. So yes, it is Lego uh, compatible, but scale wise, it needs a much bigger scale. I think if that's supposed to be the entrance, you ain't gonna get a minifigure in there. If that's the drive through, you ain't gonna get a car through there. So I'm going to carry on building it for now, get to the end, and then I might have to mock it. But that will be another video. Let's carry on. Okay, so finally finished building it. I put the stickers on. This is how it looks. Don't get me wrong, nice, cute little build. Uh, that bit comes off. You've got the little coffee shop inside. You've got the little drive through. Order your stuff. All comes off like a modular. But again, I, I'm not keen, you know, the this, this stickers ain't too bad. I've had a hell of a lot worse, but that's a minifigure. That's supposed to be the drive through. That, if we stand in there, how the hell is he supposed to get through there? So yeah, 
you know, for the money that I've paid for it, you kind of get what you expect from Timu. It's a nice, cute little build. It is definitely not minifigure scale. It is Lego compatible bricks, so that's a bonus, which means I can modul modulise it to make it a bit bigger and actually be minifigure scale. But for now, that's what we're working with. So on that it is now one o'clock in the morning the cafe is done or the starbucks done the roads are sorted the little plates are put away i've been using my tripod and done the time lapse so now let's just see how we get on from there see how it all turns out and put it in this video i'm absolutely knackered so i'm going to bed thank you all for watching good night Thank <laughs> you.